Okay, we want to talk a little bit about relabeling a basic graph. So we have here the points on the graph of the basic function y equals 1 over x squared. And we know how to get these points, so we can sketch a reasonable curve for the graph. Now the relabeling I want to do is uh, label the graph so the point one half four becomes let's say ten sixty. Okay. Well where's the point one half four? Here's the point one half four. Now it's 1060. Of course, 1060 doesn't fit the x or the y scale. So what do we have to do? Well, instead of 1 half, the x coordinate of this point is now 10. So I'm going to do a dual labeling here. I'm going to put 10 down here. You could ignore what I have down here. That was for different class. So, instead of one half now, I've got ten. So now the x-axis has two labels for this point. Okay, well, if this is ten, this point is ten, what's this point? Well, this point is half as far from zero as this one is, so this one had better be twice as far from zero as this one, which means that this point should be twenty. And then, of course, one unit is now 20. So from 0 to 1 is 20. So from 1 to 2 has to be another 20, which means that now we have 40 here. Up here, instead of 4, we now have 60. So I'm going to draw a different label, 60. And uh, then I'll figure out what each of these numbers is. And that's easy to do. Um, Half of 60 is 30. Half of 4 is 2. So, clearly, this is half of this, so this has to be half of this. Okay? And half of 30 is 15. And this point is twice as close to 0 as this one, so this point has to be 15. And then, of course, we can easily figure out that this point is halfway between this one and this one this one and this one. Halfway between 30 and 60 is easily calculated. That's 45. And of course now we see there's an increment of 15 between here and here, another increment of 15 here, another increment of 15 here, and another increment of 15 up here. So now we have a whole new labeling. Now, if this is a new function, then we can say, uh, for example, that if we want to find the new value of y when x equals, let's say, um, thirty, which is halfway between twenty and forty. Well, we go up to the graph and we need to figure out the coordinates of this point. Okay, this point is thirty. What? What number do I put here? Well, I project over here now, if this is 15, then half of that would be about here. That would be about seven and a half. This appears to be about one third of this distance, maybe a little more than one third. But one third of the distance would be five. I say that might be about four. With a question mark, I'm not sure. So I'm going to say that that point would be 34. Okay, then another thing I can do is I can say, okay, if y equals, let's say, 50, what's the value of x? Well, where is 50 on the new scale? Okay, 50 
is a third of the way between 45 and 60, if you think about it, because between here and here, you have 15 units. 50 is 5 more than 45, that's a third of the way from 45 to 60. So one way or another, we can say, that's actually, I put that a little low, but that's okay. Okay? So I project that down, and of course my lines aren't very perpendicular, so it's probably not going to be a good estimate. But if this is 10 and this is 20, what's this? Well, it looks like that might be about 12. Okay, so if this is 12, then we would say that this point is 1250. So y equals 50 when x equals 12. Okay? Well, that's what we mean by relabeling. If we relabel one point, then we can figure out what the relabeling should be for all the other points just using a little bit of common sense. We don't need formulas. We don't need computer apps or phone apps. Uh, we can use a little common sense and usually figure it out. Now, sometimes the numbers might be a little nastier, but it's not that difficult to figure out. And the numbers that we're using now are going to be pretty simple. It's going to be pretty obvious <coughs> how things are to be relabeled. Okay? Very good.